Now Manhat has a few different avenues on how you can do that. If you are in your server and you head over to world, you have this upload world option. However, I am not able to do it this way. For some reason, whatever world I'm uploading, it is not changing anything in here, even with restarting and whatnot. And I couldn't really find any information online because that was also something that was recently changed. Now, the second option that you could do is you could go into the add-ons and you can search for multiverse. And down here you see there is the multiverse that you can get for free, a free plugin so that you actually can switch between multiple worlds. Now, if you would like a tutorial on this one here, just let me know down in the comments. But in this tutorial here, we're actually going to work in the file manager and we're just manually going to replace the world. Now, it is going to take a little while to get everything done because unfortunately we cannot just take the world out and upload everything new. So we have to go through the different data sets here and re-upload everything because we cannot upload folders we can just upload what is in the folders now if you go into your minecraft folder if you don't know where to find it you just go into the search bar type in percentage app data percentage and then that brings you into your roaming folder and usually the very first folder for me it's the second one uh, is dot minecraft and in dot minecraft you can find all of your saves so if you go into saves, those are all of your worlds that you currently have on your computer. Now, I already went ahead and I made a copy from this delete world here because that's the smallest one and I put that onto my desktop. Now, if you look in here, you can see that we have a lot of the same folders. So for example, if we go into advancements or achievements, we have this file here. And if we go into the achievements folder in my world, you can see we have the same file. So all we have to do is we have to delete this file. So we select it, click delete. And then we are going to upload the file and click on upload. So our advancements folder is now done. Next, we're going into the data folder and in the data folder, you can see, uh, well, we have one for fabric, but we don't have to copy that over and we have the rates data. And over here again, we have the rates data. So we delete the rates data and replace it with this one here. Then data packs is empty. Dim one and dim negative one are actually not in here. Those are world nether and world the end. But here you would do exactly the same. You would just uh, go into this folder and replace it. Now I didn't create it anything in this uh, world that we're uploading here. So we can skip this one. Next up would be entities. And now entities, you can see, well, we already have a lot of entities over here. And in your world, you may have even more, but you don't have to upload all of them separate. All we have to do is just delete all of those so we don't have any duplicates. And then we do upload file. We go into the entities folder and now you hit control A to select all of them. Click on open. Now you can see it's going to upload 25 files. And sometimes it doesn't immediately show it, so it just takes a few seconds to load everything. Then we have player data. Then POI is another large one. And also you can select those here and just drag them over and it uploads them. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. And we're just going through all of those and replace them. Once you completed all of those, let's click the restart button to restart our server. 
Once all of those are copied over, let's go ahead and hop into uh, Minecraft. Let's connect to the server. And we hopefully should find a half-built boat somewhere. Perfect. I uh, even was exactly at the same place that I locked out. So that's how you can import your world. Now, I'm not 100% sure on how it works on large worlds. Because if you download a large world that is over, I believe, 2 gigabytes you have issues downloading everything at once you have to upload it multiple times so i'm not sure if you have a very large section of files especially in your region data you may have to split this upload in two well thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you at the next video